Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to display multiple elements in a single bag by using your Fluxbox layout. So first, this is our form. So what I'm going to do here, here I'm going to display first name and last name in a single line and the email and phone number in a single line by using the Fluxbox layout. So click on build. And here we will be having a button called layout. Just click on it. This will add a, a field for you as like how we are added page. So you just need to add and then just save it. And the uh, layout will be available as element also. So you can search here. Let's work layout. You can add from here. Both will work. Both are same. So I added two flex box layout here. After that, you just need to drag and drop it as like how you did for uh, pages. So first name, last name should be inside the first flux box and this should be inside this. And save it. Once it's saved, click on view. Now you can see the first name, last name is coming in single line and uh, email and phone number is coming in single line. And also you can uh, customize the length of your text, in text input element. So for that you have to go to build again and edit the element. So this you can do all the field, not only for this, you can do for all the normal fields also. So when you scroll down, so here you have a lot of options in with it. So descriptions means it will add description to your element like. So when you scroll down, so here you can see description, right? So this will give you description and help text. So this will add a help text for your uh, element. Let me add and show you. And more title, more title will come like accordion. So you can open and check the message, whatever you are, you are providing. And form display. So here title is coming before your element. So if you want to change that to inline, you can do here. So the element will come in, uh, the title will come in inline. So this is for description. So where it should come. And this is for help text. You can give wherever you want. You can give here. And prefix and suffix of the field. So you can give a code or you can give any text, whatever. So what else is if you want to add any div or any tag before and after your field, you can add here. So uh, let me add prefix. So this is minimum and length, maximum length of your uh, field and size it is. An extra is placeholder for your field, and this will enable autocomplete for your text field. And next is input mask. If you have any uh, uh, input which is specific for your own uh, format, it's like a regular expression, you can use it. So, when you want to do something like this, you can click on custom, and here you have to represent the uh, uh, input mask in this format, like uh, numeric nine means numeric A alphabet star represent alpha numeric. So you have to represent your format here. So as they are doing here, input mask. And then uh, these are uh, pre-populate, disable, read only. When you scroll down here, you can make your element require or uh, unique. Unique means it will be unique for your form and pattern pattern helps you to add a regular expression so you can add any regular expression which should match for your input element and counter so word wise counter or uh, character wise counter how much you should accept okay and next this is what you have to configure now so this is flex item so let me give this to three and this is first name. So flex item blocks will help you to customize your input element. 
So I have given three for my first name and I will edit for last name. Here I will give flux item as higher, which is eight now. So three, eight, first name is less number of flux item number and last name has eight and save your elements and then click on test. So now are you able to see the difference? And here we have configured description to display before your element. So that's where the description is coming. So prefix and more, whatever we configured in the uh, element, all are coming. Okay. So here we configured these two before. That's where this is coming. If you keep these two displayed before, after your uh, element. So these two will come after the input end. Okay. So this is how you can make your elements in inline by using your uh, flexbox link. Okay, and that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.